are doing super mega massive because that's what we do, right? And the McDonald's iced coffee is strong with us this morning. Yes, it is. We are doing massive breakfast freezer meals. I have a house full of teenagers and people and folks, and we are completely out of breakfast freezer meals. So I want to take some time today and do a bunch of big batch breakfast freezer meal cooking. You'll see all the supplies. We also need to bring up from my basement grocery store frozen sausage patties and eggs and different things we need for this big batch breakfast cooking. And this kitchen, I mean, it's gonna be dirtier when we're done, but I do wanna take a few minutes here, you'll get to watch me do it really quick, yay, and just sweep and tidy up a little bit more. The island is cleared. I'm gonna get my little office area off the end of the island. Maybe, maybe not, but I'm gonna wipe down the countertops, sweep the floors, bring up food, and I'll go through, I've got my little whiteboard out here. Uh, we'll go through everything that I'm making, yay. But first, let's get this kitchen tidy going. So say it with me, friends. You know what we always do. We get our hot soapy washcloths going, and I'm going to wipe everything down because, again, I don't know if you can see it in the video or not, but my mama eyes can see the crud that is caked deep and wide. And so I just want to give the island a big wipe down, even though I still have my little work end there in my basket. That works well for me because I can stand there and I can do some work stuff or do some emails here or there, and then even have recipes pulled up and things like that whenever I'm doing these big cooking videos. I do want to take some time this spring to probably just go ahead, I think it'd be easier to pull all of our metal stools and all of our metal chairs outside and just wash them off that way maybe with the hose. I do have a teen here and there wipe them down with a cloth as well but yeah I think uh, let's just spray them down right like spray down our whole life. Those are those would be easy to do though and so now we are wiping down the countertops and the toasters need shook out and I need to also wipe and clean and scrub under things but it's always nice when I can take a little bit of time and get the kitchen nice and tidied and ready to go before we blow it up again but that way we're not blowing up another mess on top of another one the white has been pretty good to us it has held up well I love how things have just really pulled together after we had the painting done and the window sills done. Now, as I'll talk about probably the next 10 or 15 videos, I do need to get my second dishwasher there switched out. And uh, yeah, but besides that, also getting the pots and pans organized there under my cabinets. But overall, things have been holding up well. Now I'm just gonna rinse my washcloth again and go at it some more. I'm gonna sweep the whole kitchen. I love those floor pads also that help take the pressure off the legs when you're standing and cooking and working. We've also unlocked the spring dress level of the universe because the spring weather is finally coming to Virginia. Now, I, I don't know about you ladies where you are, but I am layering. I'm wearing leggings or I'm wearing my jean jacket, but I also have hope that spring, spring has a sprung. I have daffodils that are out now. My tulips are coming out. I've got red and yellow tulips and also purple tulips that are coming up. And I just love it all. It is all hopes and dreams. All right, so I've got the whiteboard filled out. I think we are ready to get going. Here's the list as we enter in to this big breakfast freezer cooking. We'll of course see what's standing at the end. We will see if I've added any other recipes. We will see if I got 50 meals done or 675 meals done, but here's the list. All right, so we have bagel sandwiches and we have English muffin sandwiches, sheet pan pancakes, French toast, applesauce muffins, pumpkin banana muffins, 
chocolate chip banana muffins, peanut butter protein bites, and there's several varieties we could do with those. The omelet to go cups, breakfast burritos, and I also want to get some more trim tastic cupcakes going. I know I've done several Trim Healthy Mama freezer cooking videos here recently, and I also have more of those coming up. Some of these things will be on plan if you're following along for those. The omelet to go cups, the trim tastic cupcakes, even a portion of the breakfast burritos can be made with the low carb mission wraps. The English muffin sandwiches can be made with the Ezekiel English muffins. And of course there are many Trim Healthy Mama muffins and such that you can make. But this particular freezer cooking is a little bit of everything. Lots of requests from my teens and Mama is filling that freezer. I will show you how empty my freezer meal freezer looks when we start taking things down there. And we are going to do sheet pan eggs for the bagel and English muffin sandwiches. Now, these sheet pan pancakes I cooked in one of my recent videos whenever I got all the ingredients for this big freezer cooking. And what is left of those I'm gonna get in the freezer, but I'll link the video down below where I made these sheet pan pancakes here recently. They're just included in this time, even though they're not being done today. Okay, so for a quick and easy win, we're gonna focus on the bagel breakfast sandwiches, which are mainly gonna be their egg, cheese, and sausage, and then also the English muffin sandwiches. And my kids are experts on getting things out of the freezer, setting them to defrost, or microwaving them even from frozen, and all of that. And so now we are doing the big job here of cracking these eggs in the bowl, and then we're going to mix them up with our hand mixer and with a little bit of the Redmond's Real Salt and pepper and some milk, and we will get going with these sheet pan eggs. Alrighty, so that was five dozen eggs. It was one of those 60 count boxes, and I'm gonna put in four cups of milk and then salt and pepper, and then we will also put a couple handfuls of shredded cheese in here. So we are doing sheet pan scrambled eggs. So 
here's how our sheet pan, our first, first go round of these sheet pan eggs go. And yes, with fear and trepidation, I'm getting them into the oven, but that is working out just fine. I did not slop it. Go me. I did get those big sheet pans in the oven, but I need to put a few more in. So, and I think we're gonna need to go ahead and just do another five dozen eggs also. Looking at all the bagels and English muffins I have there looking at me. I'm a bit off the rails in my planning slash haha -ha everything. I use my big batch freezer cooking guides over on shop.largefamilytable.com and these recipes are from my big batch cooking guides, but I did not use one guide in particular. I just asked kids and pulled some kids, so I'm not looking at nothing, obviously. So my amounts than normal and that's okay that's how we roll but looking at the amount of bread and the amount of breakfast sandwiches I'm doing which again they go so fast they go so fast okay we're gonna need more eggs that's what we're saying we're gonna need more eggs <laughs> freezer meals are working out that we did so many of this is one of the chicken fried double rice and we did this in February and so I set three different THM freezer meals from my freezer into my refrigerator this weekend and so this is another one that is defrosted and I'm just gonna put it in the microwave and it's gonna feed me while we do this freezer cooking Alrighty, and so I dumped that from the bowl that I had frozen it in into a different bowl and it is in the microwave now and we're just gonna go at it again with another box of eggs. And then while these are in the oven, we will start assembling our first batch, big batch of breakfast sandwiches. So yes, we are going for another five dozen eggs because we need so many eggs and I can report from the future because I did have a recent uh, six day trip. I was out speaking at a Christian authors event in California and then I also enjoyed the event and soaked in the knowledge for myself and I have a whole big video for you guys of those adventures coming up. We go zip lining in the coastal redwoods canopy and we just do a lot. We do we do a lot of fun things. That whole business mama travel experience is coming up. And while I am gone, they did. While I was gone, my folks here just tore up those breakfast freezer meal bagel sandwiches and the English muffin sandwiches and the breakfast burritos. They were so very helpful to have prepped and ready to go. They would have used them just the same if I would have been home, but I think it was just very nice for all of us to have that thought through and have those options ready to go and in the freezer. And it's also helpful when I get home from something or, or we as a family get home from something to just have the food prepped and ready for us. And so the first load of sheet pan eggs are coming out and the next loads are going in. These are super convenient to cut in squares and then top and then add to the breakfast sandwiches. And what my folks usually do, like if it's the breakfast bagel sandwich, they just put, they just open it and have both halves there and microwave it open faced and then put it back together. And now we are washing out the Mega Mama Bowl that does so well for us with all of our big cooking projects. Just going to take a moment to wash it out and get going with our next freezer cooking adventure. 
Alrighty, so here's all of our super mega pans of sheet pan eggs. I thought it was five pans. We actually did six pans full. And so we're gonna cut these in little squares now. And then, well, not too little, I mean good size squares. And then we are gonna start assembling our sandwiches and get some good wins in with this big cooking time. So yes, I am here just eyeballing it how we do and cutting the eggs into squares and then I will be able to use these on our different breakfast sandwiches that we're going to get prepped up. Now I've done sheet pan fried eggs many, many times over the years, but sheet pan scrambled eggs is another great way to do it. cooking stack from our Walmart freezer cooking shopping that we did the other day. These are different items that we are working through and using, but right now we're going to focus on bagel sandwiches first. Now, these go so quick in my house. I am not individually wrapping them. I am going to just reuse these bags and freeze them like this. I would throw these bagels in the freezer like this however long they would last here <laughs> again remember at my house things don't last that long so these breakfast bagel sandwiches that i'm making they're going to be gone i mean i don't think they're going to be here in six weeks so i'm not worried about wrapping them in plastic wrap and those kind of things my teens will just set this frozen bag into the refrigerator and then they will microwave them to warm them through and it's a whole popular thing around here when i make these so anyway we have onion bagels and we have regular bagels i mean to make this all like susie homemaker perfect we could have done homemade sourdough bagels right but that's okay walmart to the rescue what we have going down to this first batch. We have our onion bagels, we have our sheet pan eggs, and we have some sausage patties. And now we are getting our bagel breakfast sandwich assembly line going. Even though these are supposed to be pre-sliced bagels, they're not exactly sliced all the way through. So I'm just taking my bread knife and slicing down my bagels, putting on a pre-cooked sausage patty onto the halves and then we will put our scrambled eggs which remember it already has cheese cooked into the tops there and then we will reassemble and work on the first thing i'm trying is to load these breakfast sandwiches back into the bagel bags that works to some extent and so you will you will see how that all works out for us and cooking the sheet pan eggs on the parchment paper worked really well. And so for another time, Jamerel Brain, please remember, you don't have to worry about the olive oil on the pan, but that's okay. I mean, we did so many pans, I was able to just use the parchment paper besides those first two. Um, I did have to make sure that for some of the eggs, the parchment paper peeled off whenever I cut them. I cut the parchment paper too. So there you go, could have been like an Easter egg hunt, but I was able to catch that and peel the parchment paper off the bottom of the eggs where that needed to happen. And I can't quite get the full five or six bagels back in the bags. So I do, you know, once they're, they're stuffed with breakfast goodness, I do use some other bags and storage containers for these as well. But we're just reusing what we can in the process.
again, if you don't think that your family will rip through these bagels, of course, you don't have to make, you know, 57 dozen like I'm doing, but you may want to wrap them in plastic wrap and then put them in a freezer bag from there. I just know the history of my folks here and their breakfast bagel consumption, and I'm like, yeah, these are, these are going to be run through quick, so I'm just doing this easy breezy lemon squeezy <laughs> freezer cooking and getting them in the freezer for the moment but they will be consumed very quickly And now there where I was just looking all over everything, I was looking for my little uh, breakfast bagel sandwich ties there. Um, I do find them. I do find them. And I also improvise and use some freezer tape there for a minute. I'm like, where did I put those? Where did I put those? But I do a better job keeping track of them from here on out. And again, when I don't need them anymore, you know what that means. That's, of course, when I find them. Okay, we did it. We are victorious. Here are 50 egg and sausage onion breakfast bagels that will be going in the freezer for these folks to devour as soon as possible. Now this is because I wasn't working off of one of my already prepped and done big batch freezer cooking lists, but I only have, I think maybe 10 patties in here. That looks like a little more than 10, but not that many and I have 50 more bagel sandwiches and probably 50 English muffin sandwiches. So this is what I get for flying by the seat of my pants. But I think I have some more sausage patties in a downstairs freezer. So we'll go check and I'll show you how empty my freezer is too. Alrighty, things are a mess down here. But in this freezer, I'll show you how things are working out. So this is what is left of those Trim Healthy Mama freezer meals that I did. I got two videos up over here with those so far. And then you see we have lots of freezer space. And these, I'm, like I mentioned, I believe I did, I pull out like three at a time and then I eat them, you know, maybe in one day or over two days, just depending. Up here we've got, these are the, uh, the real good brand of chicken nuggets. That's regular old chicken nuggets, just things, things like that. But anyway, I have two sausage patties. And let's see here. No more sausage patties and raviolis. These are spaghetti sauce. This is just real good. Ooh, and oh my. Okay, fall on the camera. Catch it, catch it, friend, catch it. <laughs> real good brand of chicken tenders. I'm going to poke around to see if I've got any more sausage patties. Um, just to get done what we can get done today. And this is one little precious loaf of sourdough from this summer, from our sourdough summer. And these are some English muffins that are left. 
Here's our tomatoes homegrown from last summer's garden that are here judging us. Uh, now I'm just showing you messy freezers, but this is a whole bunch of spinach and okra for some upcoming THM recipes. And you know, mm -hmm, my Mediterranean style brown rice and gamma bowls that I buy in bulk at Sharp Shopper. Just, I, I eat them though. I, I just go through them so much. So I think I've got one, two, three, four, five, I have six boxes. Nope. Seven, eight. But again, I roll through them. Like, I think there's, is there three or four? Um, I mean, some days I have three of these. Like I have one for each meal along with some protein. Anyway, uh, what else is judging us in here? Well, we have those gluten-free pizzas. That's good. Okay, and then, hey, let's organize my freezer. Um, I'm gonna move these little rice cauliflowers. Now, this was a fun project I did over in my membership at largefamilytable.com forward slash community, is I froze my sourdough discard in butter stick molds, and each one, I believe, each one is half a cup, which is the perfect amount. Like, when I have a week where I'm doing a bunch of sourdough discard bagels and everything, I'll just, each one of these is for my batch, and that's exciting. And we have a little bit of fruit left. This is my jalapeno popper soup. I was flash freezing, and it's just been a couple weeks now, so I need to put that in the freezer meal freezer. Here's a little bit more blackberries left from Azure judging us and a variety of frozen vegetables. So anyway, that's what's happening in these two freezers for now. But we are, but I want to work on getting this one filled back up. The breakfast freezer meals will take the basket and then the top shelf and probably the rest of this shelf which will be good. I'm continuing to eat down those. And besides dinner components, I don't have any dinner freezer meals besides like spaghetti sauce. So coming up in the coming weeks, I, I wanna do a bunch of freezer meal lunches and a bunch of freezer meal dinners. This is how I prime the pump and get going. If we can just focus on breakfast, I can throw stuff together for lunches and dinners. But we will get ahead, we will get caught up, we will get the freezers full of a bunch of freezer meals and at least we have some more sausages to keep on working these breakfast freezer meal sandwiches. Alrighty, so now we are going to work on these plain bagel sandwiches. Nothing else is different. It's gonna be the same sheet pan eggs and it's going to be sausage. And no one will complain. Everybody will gobble them up. Okay, so that's three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, whoop, ten. Well, that one already. Okay, I mean, that's fine. One, one less bagel. So we'll have 49 instead of 50. I won't tell if you don't. Now, they do have, like, bagels and cream cheese also, but that was probably just the easiest bag to grab. So now I am trying to expand our bagel breakfast freezer meal sandwich cooking line here no more are we trying to do five or six at a time i'm like let's try to do 12 or more at a time so i am having to slice through these which is very easy i mean at least they are three quarters of the way sliced and then i'm going to divide them in half and top with the sausage patties and then the sheet pan egg and cheese slices simple as that. Now we're just going to put the tops on all the bagels and get them bagged up.
and there's times where my egg squares are a little bit too big for their britches, haha, ha, a little bit too big for the bagels there. And I'm just trying to stretch out the eggs to get as many sandwiches out of them as we can. So I do some little haircuts <laughs> here and there. And uh, yeah, just make the squares a little smaller from my eyeball in school and just end up putting those on additional breakfast sandwiches. So here we go, success. About 110 bagel breakfast sandwiches. We did it. Well, hello friends. It is another day. It is the, the day of all days, right? And I have, how many is it? 72 English muffins. So we are going to, we're gonna have to make more, I almost said sheet pan pancakes. We're gonna have to make more sheet pan eggs. But I do have some left from our bagel sandwiches. I probably have about 20 or so squares. But I need 72, so hello, dozens and dozens more eggs. And then I've got a lot of burritos here looking at me. So I want to accomplish in this cooking time the 72, the 72 egg and cheese English muffins and will it be 50, will it be 80, will it be 100, will it be a million breakfast burritos. And I will feel super accomplished. That will give us 262 breakfast freezer meal portions for my bottomless pits. And you might hear, we have crazy, crazy wind outside. So crazy. Also, before we even get started, I mean, we're, we're gearing up here, I've gotta feed myself. <laughs> I'm feeding myself, so I am eating one of those rice and quinoa Mediterranean packs that I drool over, that I get at Bulk and Sharp Shopper for $3.99, I get four packs in each box, and I'm eating down those boxes. I think I showed you how many boxes I have left of this. Okay, so one of the things that I will do is I'll just fry up a couple eggs. I love to fry them up in bacon grease. A child told me I'm out of bacon grease, which is sad, but that just means we need to make more bacon. Probably not in this video, but I'm just frying some eggs up in butter, and I'm going to eat it kind of like a little faux fried rice situation, and it is very, very good, and so we're gonna feed me. Okay, so just like the other Okay, so just like the other minute, we're gonna do, I'm gonna actually, long pause. I'm gonna actually uh, just do this whole box of 60 again. I guess there's three, well I just cooked three for my own lunch. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. It might take all of these for the sheet pan eggs I need left. I also wanted to do a whole box up for all the breakfast burritos. And so, and again, my kids, are not scared of breakfast things from the freezer. The breakfast burritos, these are just gonna be very basic egg and cheese, but yet we're not doing those quite yet. Those are coming up uh, even for the sausage, egg and cheese, English muffins. They set out a stack into the refrigerator and they heat them through in the microwave and they eat them and they love them and there are no worries. 
what I was saying with the breakfast burritos is I've got different ones that like Tabasco sauce or Texas pea or salsa. They got different ways that they will take ownership of the breakfast burritos. I would like to cook up some sausage too with them, but I don't know that I will. I have the sausage patties. I got more. I picked more up in a Walmart pickup order. Again, it's even easier if you just follow my big batch freezer meal cooking guide with the meal plan, with, with the cooking laid out step by steps and the exact qualities and the exact quantities and all of that fun. But you know me, I also like to go off the rails. That's just my idea of a good time. And you gotta take adventure where you can find it these days, all right? So freezer cooking <laughs> without a list is my idea of a good time. Anyway. I don't know that we will necessarily um, cook up some crumbled sausage to go in the eggs and the cheese for the breakfast burritos, but we will see. Maybe it'll be half and half. Your guess is as good as mine. Keep watching. Buckle up. We're going to find out. But I need to eat lunch. That still hasn't happened yet. So I got my lunch components done, but I thought, you know what? It makes more sense to get these champagne eggs in the oven. So those are going, and I will eat during that time. And then we will put the breakfast English muffin sandwiches together. I think for these also, don't don't try this at home, haha. But I'm going to reuse that cardboard and the plastic that the English muffins already came in because again, these breakfast freezer meals are not going to stick around, okay? If you were gonna have them in your freezer, like sometimes I have meals in my freezer that'll still be there for three to six months then they would need to be individually wrapped and all of that jazz but these are pretty much already gone and the burritos will be different we'll probably put those put so many we'll see how many we get into the gallon freezer bags oops get back here little show also a birthday party day here today we're not having the big party until the evening though so that's why i wanted to get these done and then i will shuffle hop step onto the birthday party portion of the evening and if i'm a good youtuber i may show you part of that two big things of the 24 birthday cupcakes we've got 48 birthday cupcakes and then a cute little cake. It's Tobin's birthday, he is three. And in a recent video, you can go back a couple videos and watch, we went shopping for his birthday presents, his party decorations. And so one of my adult kids this afternoon is going to help get the party together over here on the 16 foot table. And we are going to party, 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 and that will be so fun. I'm getting ready to go out of state on a little mama business trip adventure that I'll be sharing about. I'm going to film a vlog and all of that as well. And I do have two to three other adults that'll be here with my kids while I'm gone, but I know these breakfast freezer meals, getting these in the freezer will also be super helpful. But again, when I have these, especially hashtag teenage boys, I mean, breakfast bagel sandwiches to go down any time of day. I do have other things that will be ready for them as well. And my big kids cook. So they know how to get things done. They know how to keep things up. They know how to make several of our favorite meals from scratch. Even if that's just spaghetti, it's one of my all time favorite meals. So there's like you know, many, many food things here for them. And now we are getting the mixer going. Still haven't found my other mixer <laughs> that we have been missing, but this Hamilton Beach one has been treating us very well and getting the job done for sure. So we are getting our eggs scrambled yet again to do yet again several more pans of sheet pan eggs. And we are going to get these 
breakfast freezer meal English muffin sandwiches ready to go for the freezer. I also got several more bags of the pre-cooked sausage. So this is very simple. It's sheet pan scrambled eggs topped with cheese and then the sausage patty. You can, of course, adapt this any way you'd like. You could do sheet pan omelets. You could add different vegetables to your eggs there. Any way you would like to do it for your family. You could also do pre-cooked bacon. Sounds very delicious right about now. I am very confidently walking those sheet pan eggs across the kitchen and using my measuring cup, not necessarily to measure, but just getting those eggs in the pans without picking up that whole 40 quart bowl quite yet and then topping with the shredded cheese and getting those in the oven. my mama lunch in this bowl also. Now that we got these, we're gonna get the bunch of scrambled eggs going in this pan too. I do need to set a timer for the sheet pan eggs so I don't go too off the rails. But now, yes, we are also scrambling eggs on the stove top. These are going to be for the breakfast burritos. Now planning this better, I could have just taken my eggs from this, but you don't always know the end from the beginning, right? At least I don't. I am going to throw some cheese on this. I've got the heat turned off too. Aren't you proud? friends, well, you're gonna get a little thank you, Jesus, situation, okay, in this video, because I told you we've had a windstorm, and the winds have been a-blowing, and I paid a bajillion dollars, that's an actual factual number, this fall, <laughs> yes, I did, because on top of everything else, you remember I had that tree fall through my house, and we had all these trees that we had never had cut down the four years we've lived here, and I was like, I'm here in this house with these kids, and these trees are now falling down, and I must get them down. So, there was one tree that we didn't take down, and my tree folks said, we won't get this one because if it falls, it'll go that way, and it wasn't dead. It looked fantastic, but today, this wind has been so wild, and I just prayed. Lord, I just pray that that tree goes that way if it's got to go. And it just went that way. Let's go take a look. Wow. Wow. So there's the roots. Okay. Look, it even, it even missed our little happy circle. Wow. Okay. Well, this was a really cheap way to get this tree down. <laughs> I was watching it when I got home this morning. I was like, boy, this thing is really dancing in the wind. Oh, thank you, Lord. So, yep, there's the house. Hi, house, how you doing? There's the tree. See, and these trees are all going in that direction, which is part of what they assessed this fall for me. But, wow, and this thing is big. This is big. And so the whole house, the whole house, if you all remember, was just circled in trees like this. I don't know. <laughs> wow. Ah, happy day. I mean, I don't care if it's down, it's not on the house. Man. So yes, I just got pictures with this tree. I mean, you know, when something like this happens, it's, we're gonna mark the occasion. We're gonna say thank you, Jesus, for your mercy, even in the middle of a freezer cooking video. Well, we're windblown, but we're making it. It's somehow a metaphor for life, friends, but it's good, it's good, it's so good. Alrighty, so the timer was going off when I got in. Let's see if we've also, okay, well, we'll be okay. We'll throw some more cheese on the top. That usually fixes stuff up. This one. Let's see if we've got any and they deflate also, That's, that one's good too. Okay, since I have about, now let's get back to 
talking about breakfast freezer meal sandwiches. Sorry, a little adrenaline rush there. Um, I probably have about 20 egg squares and I, what did I say? I need 60. So I'm going to get that and then probably a little more. Um, and I've got these eggs. I did throw some cheese on them. We definitely will need to do more for burritos. But I'm also managing to eat and photograph the tree that's down. <sighs> that was the only one, the only one that, like I said, it was just big and heavy. And, um, but since it was still, still in good shape in the fall, they said, well, we can leave it, and then if it falls, we think it'll go that way. And, gee, the experts were right. I like it when that happens. Whew. Breathe. I'm really good at deep breathing now. This is a, a new late 2023 and 2024 skill that I am just perfecting. The, the deep cleansing breaths. They are good. They are good for me and with me. Okay, I won't, I won't do them fully, but just trust me, I'm good at the deep breathing. Ah, so yes, the tree fell in the proper direction. I am so glad that the tree obeyed because, man, that was very shocking whenever it happened. And ah, just yet again confirms why it was so important to have the trees that were even bigger than that one that were right up on the house removed and I'm so glad that I did that. And at this point, I'm just eyeballing the milk, eyeballing the salt and pepper because we have been doing so many dozens upon dozens of sheet pan eggs. And now we are mixing these up and we are going to get these in the oven too. Okay, so we got the first load of scrambled eggs done for the burritos, and now we are doing our next load and hydrating. Yay. And I actually, I did not jump on the bandwagon and pay a bajillion dollars for my Stanley Cup, but I did get that as a Christmas present from a media company that I have done some work with over the years. So that is how I came upon the Stanley Cup before I even knew it was an internet thing. And we're just going to take a few minutes here to wash out the Mega Mama bowl yet again and also stir that next batch of scrambled eggs. And then I just throw some cheese on top and let that melt. And that makes for easy, breezy breakfast burritos. Now, I would have liked to have also cooked up several pounds of sausage and drained that and crumbled that sausage. That's another way that I like to do the breakfast burritos is do sausage, egg, and cheese breakfast burritos. You could also crumble up bacon, and you could also add in different vegetables based on your family's preferences. And now it is English muffin assembly line time. And so these are not pre-sliced, and so I'm going to slice these down. And just like we've done with the breakfast bagel freezer meal sandwiches, we are going to top each English muffin with a square of egg and cheese and also a pre-cooked sausage patty and get those in the freezer as well. And 
I also, for a certain extent here, reuse our English muffin bags as good as we can for getting these English muffin freezer sandwiches in the freezer too. And on this day, I'm keeping hold of the little clips really well. So at this point, we are nice and broke in with making a dozen or so English muffin freezer sandwiches at a time and getting those wrapped and in separate little baggies too. And so here you can see that I am describing to my family about when the tree fell down and yeah, all the laughter and all the arm directions, the tree falling down in this way. English muffin breakfast freezer sandwiches. We also just heat up in the microwave just the same. Those Ezekiel bread English muffins I use for my Trim Healthy Mama meals also. Now I will toast those and have it with some light laughing cow cheese and maybe two slices of lean ham. I do that a lot of times for a meal if I need something to eat before I run. I will also do it for breakfast, breakfast or lunch or dinner. You could also use those Ezekiel English muffins and prep these same breakfast freezer meal sandwiches ahead. It just depends on, and this is me talking about my little trim healthy mama thing because I'm a crazed fan and this is not even a THM freezer cooking video, but here you go, because I know some of you follow it. You would need to see if you are going to do those as an e-meal breakfast freezer meal or if you're fine with them just being a crossover and you can go down the Trim Healthy Mama rabbit hole if you need to know what those definitions mean um, or if you would just like a different English muffin option. And of course, have your sourdough starter fed and ready and go ahead and do a whole bunch of sourdough English muffins and make your breakfast and make your breakfast freezing meal sandwiches with those as well. So now that we finished our 600 English muffin sandwiches, we are going to jump into the breakfast burrito freezer meal portion of our day's entertainment. And I got my big stack of burritos right there and we are going to fill them with our scrambled egg and cheese mixture and just wish for sausage. That did not work out this time. I can also report from the future that these breakfast burritos have been very popular. I do have some of the people who look like me who 
I guess I've, I've raised them in the way that they should go. And they really like hot sauce on their breakfast burritos. There are some that prefer sour cream and other toppings. So your family can definitely make them however you prefer. I am fitting about eight or so in each gallon freezer bag. So that is working out well. So total in this big breakfast freezer meal sandwich cooking time, which we did over two days, we used over 20 dozen eggs. We made 110 breakfast bagel sandwiches for the freezer. We made 72 English muffin sandwiches with egg, sausage, and cheese. And we came in at only 35 breakfast burritos, but that was 217 breakfast freezer meals for what I like to say, my 57 children, haha. Ha. We did not get to the French toast or any of the muffins or the omelet to go cups or the protein bites or the Trimtastic cupcakes. But again, let's say what we did, what our victory is, the 217 breakfast freezer meals that we did accomplish. I will definitely have another big batch breakfast freezer meal video coming out where we tackle the other recipes that I plan to do. And that will also be deeply soul fulfilling for all of us to watch and see. I will also link in the description below all the big batch freezer meal guides that I've had for many years developing and growing over at shop.largefamilytable.com. And I will also link you to my recipes for breakfast freezer meal sandwiches, sheet pan pancakes, sheet pan eggs, and so much more. Thank you so much for watching this big batch freezer cooking video, friends. I appreciate you. And we also whew, had the tree fall down during this video. We are just doing all the things. I will chat in those comments below and I'll see you real soon with another brand new video. Bye bye. And here's a cute little peek at my toddler's third birthday party and all the fun that was had.